I mean, me, this is my Christian side coming out, mm -hmm. but you should like, you, you should pray for people to lead down a more healthier and, and righteous path. And I yeah. feel like, um, when people do genuinely regret, and here's the, the, the real tragedy of, I'll give you a good example. Uh, when people do genuinely regret the, the choice they made, like, for example, I was telling you, um, one of the best podcasts I ever did was with my friend, Helena Kirchner, who is the detransitioner, you know, uh, you know, uh -huh. Helena. Yeah. 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 So no, she was not personally, no, but I, I am aware, but yeah. you know of her, right? So yeah, 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 of course. Um, like she was talking about when she was taking, um, she took like more trend than like a bodybuilder. That's like and yeah. no medical test, by the way, which is inc incredible. Like she she's lucky to, to be alive. Parenthood. That can kill you. Yeah, like she went to Planned Parenthood and she was saying like at Planned Parenthood, like they don't give you any screening or anything. And they just feed you these, you know, testosterone pills, like more than a bodybuilder. And she was yeah. going nuts. Like she was like tearing the house apart. And it was like, of just course she's going nuts. in hell. <laughs> yeah. No, because like you, you take a young girl in those, you know, even a girl in early, you know, she was like 14 years old, you know, still like in puberty almost. And it, just like you take them and you give them this like, uh, you know, like, and people don't talk about the health effects of it either in terms of when like the human body, like the male body needs testosterone to develop and like the organs needed to function. A female body needs estrogen in certain functions, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to ovarian cancer and the preventative, uh, preventative breast, you know, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, a lot of these different things that are, uh, have something to do with, uh, irregulated hormones nobody talks about this stuff like even um for example men that have low testosterone are treated with testosterone because of uh the development of bone issues certain cancers uh like i i truly think that giving whole generations of young girls and young boys a lot of these hormones they're gonna it's going to lead to like essentially a cancer and autoimmune disorder bomb in my opinion in the future okay and and uh people don't realize I, I mean that. I agree yeah. obviously no no but I know I know but I'm saying that uh it's different when you, like for example you that by virtue of your birth you have a different sort of relation to it and I feel like it's interesting when you speak about these issues of uh LGBT identity and well, so forth because you know you do have that uh experience that you know, most people don't. I do. And I think yeah. that it's important for people like me who have gone through that and realize the evils of it and how it's part of something sinister. We need to make our voices known about it because just like how you have like at Alcoholics Anonymous or at uh, meetings of people who have, uh, you know, gotten out of prison and are cleaning up their lives, people who are part of negative organizations and live through it, they are good proponents to talk about the evils of it from the inside because they experienced it. 